Hello, my name is Anna Dennis. I'm in the third grade and I go to Lower Elementary School. I also go to TC Nap for, gift, for gifted students. This is my board. My topic is, is white-tailed deer. My topic is called, Oh Deer. This is my interview with Eric Click. He has his own deer farm called Click's Whitetails. This is my display item. This is an actual pair of this is an actual pair of antlers from a real white-tailed deer buck. This is my 3D element. This is a white-tailed deer tail. This is the inside and this is the outside. When I when a white-tailed deer hears danger, he flips his tail up. This is my help wanted ad to be a farmhand on Click's Whitetails. This is my diagram. It has spaces where you can fit in all of these things, and then you have the answers on the bottom. These are my top ten facts. And this is my slideshow called White Tail Deer by Anna D. White Tail Deer. White Tail Deer are one of the most common types of deer. White Tail Deer are named this because their tail because their tails are white. Get it, White Tail Deer? On the next couple of slides, you will find some facts about these amazing animals. Have fun. Antlers. White Tail Deer bucks only grow antlers while does don't. Bucks start to grow their antlers in May or June. They keep their antlers through summer and fall. In the winter, their antlers fall off. A few months later, the cycle will start again. Bucks. Bucks are easy to spot because of their antlers. Bucks will have bigger home ranges than does. In mating season, bucks can meet up to 20 does. Does. Does usually weigh about 122 pounds. When a fawn is born, the doe or mother will lick the baby. This helps so that a predator will not smell the baby. Fawns. A doe can have up to four baby fawns. Most common are two babies. Three or four babies is considered lucky. About an hour after birth, the fawns can walk. A fawn will become an adult in one to three years. A fawn loses its white spots before its first winter. Food. A white-tailed deer's diet usually includes berries, twigs, and nuts. They also like to eat plants such as leaves, herbs, and grass. Antlers feed on velvet, a quilt, a quilt on the antlers, which have, lot, which have lots of nutrients in them. Homes. Most white-tailed deer live in North America. Other white-tailed deer live in some parts of South America. Their home ranges include mountains, deserts, forests, or grassy fields. Fur color. The fur color for a white-tailed deer depends on the season. If it is summer, their fur is reddish-brown. In winter, their fur is grayish-brown. Mating. When a buck is ready to mate or attract a female, a buck will scrape the ground and leave his scent. If a doe wants to mate with that buck, she will leave her scent, too. The buck will then use her scent to find her and mate. This time can also be called the rut. Thank you. Thank you for reading my slideshow. I hope that you liked it. And that was the end of my presentation. I hope that you guys have liked it. Thank you for watching. It means so much to me. Thank you and have a good day.